cyber.lidos.com. Great. Now, what do you guys do? So most of your audience is probably not familiar with the name Lidos, but I promise you, Chuck, that your audience will be familiar with our heritage companies, Lockheed Martin and SAIC. Oh, yeah. oh I think I've heard of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little two small companies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we joined forces last year in a merger, and wow. we do three things we do them very, very well. So managed security services, professional consulting services, and then we do have some deployed products, but we try not to uh, supersede this wonderful cybersecurity ecosystem. We would rather partner and take products that our customers already have and integrate them a little bit better and get better okay. business outcomes. That's interesting. Now, yeah, because we were just talking to a guy uh, who had 50 applications on his network to protect his network. And I went, how, how do you manage, manage how that? How do you manage how that? You, it's not impossible. So let's talk about integration. How do you how do you help with that kind of problem? Absolutely. So we want to take a look at those deployed technologies, and quite often there's a lot of redundancy in what you see at areas like the endpoint. So some of the feature functionality might be duplicated and can be reduced and reduce a lot of the clutter and the uh, the impact to the end user. So the first step would be let's ana do analysis of what you have at the endpoint, see if there's redundancy, and see if there's new innovative technologies that could be introduced as well. That's awesome. I mean. Often, oftentimes you're finding that there's a really uh, constraint on resources, skilled cyber experts, and that's something that Lidos kind of provides, right? Absolutely, so our heritage in defense, the government and the intelligence community, we've developed a strong trade craft that we've now brought to commercial markets. And you're right, quite often we run across the talent shortage out there. I think yeah. the latest statistic I read is that we're going to be, what, two million uh, cyber two warriors million. short here I in know. the next few years. Yeah. So quite often we can reach into our pool of talent, many of that talent coming off of military duty and introduce them into commercial markets. Well, not only military duty and that kind of expertise, I'm, I'm kind of familiar with, uh, with Lidos here, so let's talk about what you guys are doing around critical infrastructure. It's a topic that no one's talking too much about no, here, which not. I'm really surprised I think it should be the number one topic. The critical infrastructure, especially being in the Gulf Coast region. Absolutely, so Sharice, you're, you're very familiar with our background here. Uh, this whole world of OT security, so your industrial control systems, SCADA systems, yep. uh, it's a environment that was built quite frankly for availability and uptime, not necessarily security. And security has been an afterthought uh, all of these years. So I think at this point, enterprise IT security is becoming very mature and the next yep. cyber warfare front is on the OT side of the house. So we're doing some consulting in those areas, making boards of directors and senior executives aware of the challenges in these environments, and then providing solutions that provide persistent access and monitoring capabilities to the security and change management configuration. Now, you know, you know why I like this? Because it's military guys and military defense builders bringing their attitude to the table. That's a whole different Chuck's game. It's all about attitude. No, it's true. Because you can say you're in charge of this. If you don't just love it and live it and are it's excited a mindset. about it, it's, it's a mindset. It's a mindset. And you can be defeated by your mindset. You can have the best defense in the world and the mindset's going to kill you. What's the best airplane ever made? The SR-71 Blackbird, absolutely. Well, that's the second one. The F-35, of the course. The first one is an A-10 Warthog. Absolutely. Because you can't shoot it down. This is true. It has triple redundancy. It's made to fly on you know, hydraulics and all Fun kinds of things. Fun facts from Chuck Harold. The wings fill up with foam. Chuck, <laughs> I'm an ex-Lockheed guy. You knew I had so to go know. with two Lockheed planes well, first. No, the Warthog's Lockheed, isn't it? No, I believe that was Northrop. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> it's still the best plane in the world. Good but catch. it's about redundancy, right? They say, now, who wouldn't build a plane that doesn't get shot down. Well, because why do we build networks? For, for resiliency, speed, ease of use, right? We don't build it for defense. Right. And we build airplanes that go 1,000 miles an hour, then it runs out of gas and it crashes. But a warthog is built to not get shot down. That was the, that was the plan, right? I like And they're the, still in service after all of these years. Since 1975, yes. right? So I think this is critical to bring this attitude from the defense. Are more defense firms doing this? Absolutely. You know, they're getting away from airplanes, not getting away from them. They're saying, you know what, let's come into this space because we get the attitude. Right. That's what I'm excited about. Yeah, we, uh, we bring that high level of precision, trade yeah. craft, and overall mindset to the table. Uh, it takes all types, absolutely, but we think that the military does bring uh, an interesting perspective and heritage to the table. And we see the Israelis doing this all the time. Yes. They come out of the cyber attack business and go into the public sec yeah. private sector and go into the cyber defense 
and I'm hoping our guys are doing more of that absolutely. in the U.S. Absolutely. Excellent. Good. Absolutely. All right. Sorry about that. I just had to get that out. No, that, that's <laughs> absolutely okay. Um, you know, we've talked about the services, talked about the capabilities of the expertise. Let's talk about some of the product lines that maybe you want to go ahead and let the audience know that's kind of like up and coming with Lido's offering. Sure. So two of the things that we're really focused on at this year's Black Hat, uh, first of all, our area of managed security services. Now, that arena has been around for almost 20 years. At Lido's, it's been a part of our business for 17 years. Wow. With that being said, we're making an evolution into the managed detection and response category. If you think about traditional managed security services, it's all about the monitoring and alerting, and that is great, right? You need a third party that can do that in real time for you, but there is a tremendous gap when you get all the way down to the incident response. And remediation and, and, and follow through, yeah. And so we're now bringing a capability to the table that does both network security monitoring, management, alerting, detection, and incident response, but we can bring that all the way down to the endpoint level as well. Now, Richard, we're running a little long, so here's my last question real quick. What keeps you up at night? What, worry, what are you worried what about? What keeps me up at night? I think it's the traditional cat and mouse game, and while we get better at defenses all the time, the adversary is also getting smarter and developing their right. trade craft. Again, Sharice and I, uh, we share a lot of thoughts uh, that are very similar in the ICS arena. Yeah. And this is an area that's very scary Critical because, infrastructure. Yeah. yeah, if you think about it, uh, companies can lose revenue, lose mind share and all of that, but really critical health, safety, and environmental consequences yep. can come from an attack in those areas. So that, that's what keeps me up. Excellent. Richard Berg, give us your website. Cyber.lidos.com. Uh, Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Up next, in a few minutes, we'll be back on SecurityGuyTV.com with some more from more live from Black Hat 2017. I need some more sugar cookies. <laughs> I'm losing it. All right, back Bye, in a minute. Thanks. Thank, thanks.